What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. I gotta call this take two because I guess the camera started overheating. It was kind of glitchy and looked like shit, so let's do this again. Um, we are on the way to a brand new Copart location. Um, and this is one of the last walk-arounds, I think, before the new year. I, I, there might be another one before this one, before the end of the year. But I think this is this might be one of the last ones. But anyways, I hope y'all had an awesome 2022. And you guys have been asking, and I made sure I haven't ate since yesterday. You asked me, you wanted to see RVs. And you know I'm down. I'm going to do it. I, I'm hoping that I get nothing but great, beautiful, awesome smelling, uh, clean RVs. But I know better. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get into it today. And uh, see if there is any, um, you know, bad smelling ones, good smelling ones, and any of them that can be possibly good deals to turn around, flip, and do whatever. So, anyways, let's get out to Copart. Let's get out to this sublot, which is 20 plus miles away from the main yard, and uh, see what they got. be like ah oh, tk you never we never get to see the petty roosevelt anymore we only see it on instagram you don't do videos on it anymore well nothing's broke the car has been i mean granted everything on this car has pretty much been replaced from the engine everything except the transmission uh the engine the turbos the water pumps the coolant lines the air conditioning system the rims hubs tires suspension some of the body panels ah it's a pretty much a brand new car. It should be reliable for a while, especially the, being that it's a brand new engine and it's pretty much a Toyota. I mean, it's designed in part with Toyota, so I would expect it to be reliable. But anyways, we have about 15 more miles to go and I just wanted to let you guys uh, see that the Petty Roosevelt is alive and well, running like a champ and has been super reliable. Um, you guys remember the last issue I had on it, I think it was right before it broke 100,000 miles or right at 100,000 miles and look we're at 107 564 on it right now so that's like 7,000 miles of reliability that's huge for a BMW knock on all the wood that is available um <laughs> all right let's go out here and get out here to Copart god damn why do they have a, a rumble strip oh they're doing highway I'm like why is there a rumble strip in the middle of the highway all right Let's get over here uh, and get to the sublot and see what we can find. All right, guys. So, where do I turn? Oh, I guess I'm gonna go all up here. That looks like the Copart yard over there. Let me see if I can zoom here. Boop. Oh shit, not that much. God damn. <laughs> the lens went nuts. Yeah, all those vehicles over there, that's where we're about to be. Oh boy. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> Let me put the Petty Roosevelt in sport. And let's just stay in the gear. Just stay in second. God. I didn't know it was going to be gravel all the way to the to the yard. Whew, we might only do this once in a very, very great while. Because, uh, yeah. Oof. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to piss off the Petty Roosevelt. But whew, roll the window down here. Oh, oh. Oof. Well, one thing for sure, you definitely ain't speeding down this road. All right, guys, we are here. We're in the building. Welcome on back to another Copart walk around. And today, we're looking at heavies and RVs. So. We'll get directly into it. Now, I didn't bring, I could bring the car out here. They gave me the opportunity to put a flag on. But after driving the Petty Roosevelt down that gravel, I don't want the Petty Roosevelt to get used to being in a place like this. So we're not going to do that. How about we get started? I know we said RVs, but how about we get started with a septic tank truck? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oof. Oof. But that hurt though. That definitely hurt. 
Oof. Oof. Ouch. Look at the whole oof. I hope they got out okay. Oof. And guys, we will do, because they have some really nice dualies and stuff out here, I guess I'll do another one today while I'm here so we can have another one before the end of the year. So you guys have another nice one with trucks and dualies and things of that nature. But let's go check out this Passport Ultralight right here. <sighs> Look at all these dualies, man. Dualies and wow. Yes. All right. <sighs> Unit has been winterized. Now look at the damage. Looks like it got hit here on the side. You guys can see it there. Let's walk around the rest of the outside before we go to the inside. A little bit of a ding right there. Repairable? It's always repairable. Is it worth it? That's the question, right? Is it worth it? Well, let's take a look inside and see if it's worth it guys <sighs> Oop. maybe not <laughs> this is one of the ones but maybe not oh denied it's locked well i guess i get to beat the bullet because they said this one was really bad all right <laughs> I know y'all were in anticipation, like, yes, yes, he's going to puke, yes, no. All right, let's go check out another one. Tell me your truck got stolen without telling me your truck got stolen. Damn, son. They stripped that joint. Oh, how you strip the whole truck and don't take the engine? I don't get it. How do you strip the whole truck and don't get the most valuable piece out here. Weird. It looks like there's stuff frozen. It is. This thing must have just came in from like the snow or something. It's still got damn ice on the engine. Oof. Damn. They stole the damn airbags. Like, yo. Oof. All right. This one is an Aspect E450 with the Ford front end, Winnebago, all right? Drive, line out, no bolts, runs, don't put in gear. Cool, got it. Uh-oh, we might have to check that one out. And Yeah, we'll save it for a truck video. You're going to have to wait for that one, guys. Oof. Man, let me find out. All right, this door is open. Oof. Oh, something tells me it's gonna be bad. Yeah, it's bad. All right. Oof. Oof. Suck it up. Shut up and suck it up. Oof. Oof. All right. Y'all can see it's got a bunch of stuff in here. Evidently the door is broken. I wonder if this thing rolled. I mean, look at all the stuff, how it just rolled up and piled up up here to the front. Like they hit the brakes really hard or something. Oh man, shitty, shitty draw. Come on, man. You know what? I'm, I'm tired of people. I'm not going to comment on the Glorilla thing because I know y'all are going to be in the comments. She said that they wear black, that she likes to wear black draws because of the shit stains. Look, man. Oh, please wipe your ass. <laughs> Be responsible, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So, it definitely took a hit to the rear. Definitely took a hit to the rear. Cracked that corner. Cracked that there. Definitely repairable. I mean, it's fiber. I know it's fiberglass, but it's definitely like, if you wanted to just Mickey Mouse, like, I'm sorry I'm to say this, but Mickey Mouse it, fix it, put it together, you could definitely fix it and drive it. I don't even think these slide outs are bad. I wonder what why it's so messed up though and everything came to the front. It's gasoline. <sighs> that means it's got the big V10 Triton in it, right? Ugh. 
That one was ripe too. That thing was definitely ripe. Whew. I mean, you can't, here's the other thing. I know a lot of people will be like, what do you expect? No, I get it. Like when you have these RVs and they've been sitting for as long as they sit, and then, you know, you uh, think you're just gonna crack them open and do what you wanna do. No, nah, it doesn't work like that. They're usually ripe, they stink because these are bad food or other stuff stuck in them. Here's a 1-800 for rent RV. Oof, I don't even wanna know. Oh, wow. Damn, son. Okay, that pushed the whole suspension and everything back up under the seat windshield busted yeah well, that's gross all right that's bad like yeah yep we'll take a look at the inside though if it's open it is dun, 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 dun. I expect the interior of this to be completely destroyed after seeing the front. Oh yeah, look, see how the stair is separating from the body? Let me make sure I can even hold my weight on this. Let me go with the next step up. Oh. <sighs> yeah, she got smashed. I am happy to see that there's not a lot of blood on that airbag or the seat, which means that the people probably were okay. That means the safety components did their job. <sighs> This I expect to be all smashed. Because you got to figure, you know, look at that spider just floating in the air. Great. Solar charge. It's still solar charging. Dope. It's got a solar, solar charger. Got to love that, right? But as you can see, she's pretty. I, I would walk in here, but all the little spiders hanging from the ceiling, I'm good. I don't want no smoke. But, uh, yeah, the fact that it's still charging, that's cool. I mean, you probably could get some good parts out of this. You're not fixing this. I can tell you right now. Like, you'd have to replace the whole cab forward. Like, that's, one, not ever going to happen. You know, this is not really serious. But all of the stuff under it, where it's coming apart here. Look at the fire extinguisher went off. Like, no, man. You're not. This is definitely just for parts at this point. For sure. But the bed is over there. Decent. Got another one up there. Cool. Well, I did hold my weight. That's good. Let's go on and check out the next one. We got another Class C E450 on this one. Let's see here. I'm not seeing any. Maybe it got rear-ended or something. I'm not seeing any significant damage back here and I see all this firewood chilling on this other one almost like they got stuck together there we go keep that closed yeah all right this one not bad I'm not seeing, unless I'm going to see it over here. I mean, I see the slide out. No, the slide out's not even. I don't know what this would be um, here for. Maybe it's a theft recovery. I'll have to dig into it. Hey, what's up, boss? I'll have to dig into it and see exactly what it is. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's a theft recovery. All right. Come on, another one. All right, the front's open, the rear's not. This is interesting. I wonder if they're doing, oof. Nope, meth lab, yay, probably. Look at all those buckets, chemicals, beers. This thing is destroyed. Oh my God, oof, nope, I can't, sorry. That one, mm-mm. -mm. Yeah, I mean, I expect it to happen at some point, but damn. Whew, that one was, that one, whew. It wasn't even like the bad smell, it was the chemicals and stuff, but whew, nasty. Next. 
man what is with these class c's <laughs> the e450s i'm starting to think these don't have any good luck i see a little bit of a bing here in the front you can see where the metal is all bent i'm not seeing oh that suspension looks like it's a little bowed out on the front with that tire being flat but the rest of it so far that corner fixable just like it's molding i don't see any other damage i don't know why they have firewood in there and that thing taped closed i'm guessing the things quit working all right let's see what this one's like on the inside at least it opens all right don't want to mess with the stairs probably not How's that holding up? I see glue on that, so I think I'm gonna grab the frame when I climb up in here. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Yep, theft recovery. You know how I can tell as soon as I walk in? See that? That ignition all ward out. TV still here. So realistically, this thing is probably fine. It's just a death record. Yo, what's up with the Michael Myers axe, bro? Damn. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm good. Oh, bunch of food. That is, that is rotten. But it's not making me hurl yet. Well, clearly somebody stole this and was living in it. This is all loose and doing whatever. I'm going to be careful back here. Yeah. All right, lots of water bottles. Somebody had this thing off the grid, I'm guessing. They were probably staying off of... Uh... Okay, 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 okay. Lesson learned. Stop. Oof. Oof. Yep, got a gum buyer's guide. Got a fan, some seat covers, some more seat covers. This is definitely fixable. You know, it's just a theft recovery. I mean, it's dirty. You're going to have to clean the damn thing. It's going to be disgusting. But I think I'm going to add this one on my watch list because this is really not that bad. Even like the kitchen, like the table, like all of the stuff in here is actually pretty solid. Um, Definitely looks fixable. I don't know what all this is soda or some other stuff i hope it ain't water leaking in from somewhere the roof looked good to me from what i could see i don't see any sagginess or that's normal if you're looking at the line it just slopes there well let's go on to the next one this one's got the light on and that's what they say motel six will leave the light on for you i don't know that one's got a light on so that's promising so it's got power probably got solar panels on it <clears throat> let's walk around the outside of it Nothing that I can see on this side. Well, a little bit of on the corner there, but nothing major. All right. Yeah. Probably another theft recovery would be, would be my guess. Unless something happened with the roof, like hail or something. I'll we'll have to look and see. God damn. <laughs> Whew. All right. Well, <laughs> I think we know why this one's totaled. Oh, my God. <coughs> Whew. I'm going to leave this one open. Whew. <laughs> the other employee that's walking around just started gagging, too. Oh God. That's why he was laughing. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna let y'all peek in. I can't get in. I, mean, I can't even get in there. That's horrible. Alright. I can't. Oh no. 
Mm -mm. Hell no. Oh, that's disgusting. Whew. Foot and assholes, man. Foot and assholes. I had to re 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 we re, 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 regrouped. <laughs> and now we're looking at this uh Quantum 2020 Mercedes Sprinter. These are really nice, supposedly. Wonder if this is another theft recovery. Just geniuses, so you geniuses that be stealing shit don't realize I hope you realize. Like, you know, you could probably steal a Hellcat and get away with that for a while. Ooh, the slide outs are stuck open a little bit. But these, if you don't think they put tracking on these, you're an idiot. They don't leave these just sitting on lots for you to steal them. Just a heads up. All right. All right. This one's not horrible. I mean, it's got a little bit of a ripe smell, but nothing as bad as that last one, boy. This one is very nice, very clean. I'm guessing, oh, it's got keys. So not, a, I don't know, maybe it could still be a theft recovery. Pillows and stuff up there. This is all taken apart, which this doesn't really concern me as much. The slide outs being slightly out does. But I'm not seeing anything that's would like make me panic about buying this. The boots on the counter, whatever. The spark plug and the random tin foil hanging out here. Yeah, that's that's a little concerning because I'm sure that tin foil wasn't used for good purposes. Let's see if we can squeeze back here a little bit. All right, the regular bed and stuff, it folds up, looks clean. All right, you got a TV spot right there. TV's missing. Does not surprise me. Oh, let me turn around in here, see if I can get this open. Bathroom looks okay. Oh, it looks like there's a dent in the floor right there. But outside of that, I'm not, I mean, look, it's still got stickers on. I'm willing to bet that somebody, somebody probably boosted this from like a, that's my guess. I mean, I'll dig into the, the, mm. 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 the freezer smells nice. Thanks to the arm and hammer. God, that refrigerator though. Whew, I'm getting better with that. All right. There's a bunch of Tums. Yeah. If I was driving something stolen all over the country or doing whatever, my, t my stuff would be going. Oh, it's got a weather tech. Maybe, I don't know. I wonder what would cause this to get total. I didn't see any damage on the outside. That's why I'm, I mean, unless it was like a flood, but this thing looks too nice. You know what I'm saying? It looks too nice to be, I mean, I see the molding and stuff hanging now. Maybe vandalism? Like, I see this, right? But all that stuff can be put back in. Like, with this same molding. It is a diesel. I'm just trying to figure out, maybe the slides broke or something? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think it is in the comments. Looks fine to me. It looks fine to me. I mean, I'm going to do my research on the lot number and stuff and see what it is. But you guys let me know. In the comments i don't even know if i want to open this one like this one just screams it's going to be a problem i mean i don't even i don't even have to say what it says on the side <laughs> oh boy all right let's walk around the outside of it Oof. all right they spray painted they like covered the name of the trailer uh, this tells me Oh, it's lost type is water and flood. Interesting. Okay. It looks like they tried to like paint the outside of it. Weird. Yeah, you see like where they covered the name of the trailer. It's almost like it was a theft recovery. 
that got water damage or something. I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to see, but that's my guess. Ugh. Anybody guess, wanna guess what that is on the inside of those blinds? Oh my God. Yeah, uh, I don't even know if I can show you in here. <laughs> Mm. Um, this was definitely Tweakers Anonymous. Jesus Christ, man. Oof. It is raw in here, too. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh. Yeah. There you go, guys. I ain't getting in there. Between the random needles that I see sitting around and pills and stuff. We're just going to take a look at this one from the outside. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm going to be honest. That last one was a little, oh, even for me. Let's go check out this last one. And then there's something super cool next to it. We'll take a look at that. And then uh, I think we will wrap up the uh, RV walk around and I'm gonna get into filming the truck one because there's so many damn trucks out here I'm loving it but anyways let's uh go ahead and get into it and see what we can uh find on this next one tell me you have a problem without telling me you have a problem <laughs> yeah they have a whole NASCAR <laughs> like body and shell just chilling out here crane cams god that's a company that's not even around anymore budweiser this was a this wasn't a race car this was like a an advertisement or something it was sitting somewhere like a sign is my guess speedway bar and grill that's what it was it was like an advertisement with its big number eight on it and stuff. That's kind of cool, man. Don't you guys think? I think that's kind of cool. Well, I would say let's go in here and check this one out, but uh, I think they opened the other side for us so we can look at it from over here. Yep. Weird, like the whole bed and everything came down. That's retarded. I don't know what the hell they were doing with this. But this whole side's open too. That's crazy. Yeah, this thing is destroyed. You know it's like been forever. Like they got the old school tape deck and stuff in there. Like they were like spying on somebody. Wow, this thing is done. Scrap metal all day. All day, every day, scrap metal. Let's go. I like this little Winnebago. Now, this was probably a Winnebago Brave, or what's left of it. These were awesome, man. Like, 454, just great little, I say little, but they were, considering other sizes of RVs. And they just, you don't see those with that weird, crazy front anymore. And this was a, I'm, I'm willing to bet this was a Brave. This probably was a Brave, right? Or it's the part that's going to say it's gone, right? Looks like a Winnebago Brave. But damn, that whole thing is destroyed. Damn. Well, somebody had a bad day. Whew. Ouch. That's all I can say about that. Well, guys. <laughs> I admit this is not the best RV video that we've done here, but that last one definitely really did get me, boy. I was like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this new yard that they have out here for Copart? They have a ton of cars and stuff out here too. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and look at those. But what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna let you go on today's video for, the, for you guys on this one. And I'm going to go look at all these dualies. All these, there's a couple TRXs, lifted trucks, all kinds of stuff out here. And get you like a super video, maybe to close out the year. Oh, they have motorcycles too? 
Uh oh. We'll try to get you guys a super duper video of all of the stuff, all of the cool trucks and stuff that are sitting out here at Copart right now. Anyways, if you like today's video and you like what I do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you'd like to be able to bid on some of this stuff um, at Copart and you haven't uh, already signed up, go to copart.com forward slash TK's Garage and you can sign up and they'll look out for you on your membership. So copart.com forward slash TK's Garage. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Uh, let me get into these trucks and I'll see you guys on the next one.